Finally, I get to wear the T-shirt in the video. This is the brand new MRT Orange Line station at Thailand Cultural Center. It goes from here to Minbury. And if you live on the east side of Bangkok, then yours and tens of thousands of other people's lives are about to be made a lot easier. Well, if you've ever been to the MRT station at Thailand Cultural Centre, you may remember one of the floors is just one large space. Now, this was put by years ago for the MRT Orange Line platforms, and they used to have a mock-up of two trains coming out of tunnels. Construction is under progress, and this is going to be a huge interchange between the orange and the blue lines. I'm at the Mass Rapid Transit Authority headquarters and also the location of the first station. This is simply called MRTA and it's very useful if you work for the MRTA because it means you'll never be late for work again. I mentioned earlier the mock-up trains coming out of tunnels that used to be at Thailand Cultural Centre. Those will be moved here to this building. Beyond that is the maintenance depot and stabling yard and boy that is absolutely massive. So the idea is to go from station to station, show you the construction progress, give you a bit of info about the areas around the stations, and that of course is going to include a hell of a lot of walking because this line covers a lot of mileage. This station is OR15, Wat Param Gao, Rama 9 Temple. I'm just checking Google Maps here and the actual temple is about a kilometre and a half away. So if you do come to the temple via the Orange Line in the future, prepare yourselves for a bit of a walk. And if it's on a day like today, it's going to get sweaty. Ideally, I would like to follow the exact route of the line, but I can't do that because there's an expressway here and that will mean I'll be trespassing. So I'm going to have to find my way to the next station, which is Ramkamhang 12 on an alternative route. So bear with me on this one. Well, you know you're not far away from Ramkamhang Road when you see a sign for a mosque and you see a bridge going over the Klong San Seb Canal. I'm debating whether to take a shortcut along the canal or just continue the way I'm going and then get a motorbike taxi up to the next station.
This is Ram Kam Heng 12 station OR16 along the very busy Ram Kam Heng Road. It's next to the old mall department store which was demolished about three years ago. There's going to be a brand new shopping complex built and that along with the Orange Line is going to kickstart the revitalization of this area. Ram Kam Heng Road is well known for shopping, street food, street markets, university students, national football stadium and it looks like rain as well, I can see the dark clouds up there. But what it's most well known for are the notorious traffic jams. Just behind me is Ram Kam Heng University Station OR17. This is going to make life a lot easier for the thousands of students who travel from all over Bangkok and the provinces to study here. I've just noticed it started raining as well and I'm hoping it's not going to get too bad. This area has had some pretty bad flooding in the past. Ever since they started construction on the Orange Line back in 2017, the whole of this area has been not very pedestrian friendly whatsoever, but it's a small sacrifice to make. This station here is OR18, it's called SAT, the Sports Authority of Thailand, and we'll have a quick look around there in a minute, but first you may have noticed a nice rainbow has come up in the sky, I'll try and get a few shots of that. The last couple of hours we've had three different extremes of weather, dark clouds, strong winds, quick burst of rain, lovely rainbow coming out. Now it's back to being clear again and we're going to head up towards the next station which is Ram Kam Heng 34 and I'll probably call it a day after that one or a night, whatever you want to call it, but first we've got to get there. A lot of construction work going on here at Ram Kam Heng 34 station. This is OR19 and they're reinforcing the station building roof as we speak. It's underneath the road surface so that's why there's a lot of activity going on. Amidst a Ram Kam Heng rainstorm which is brewing, the wind's picked up, the rain's coming down so it's a good thing I've decided to call it a night. Or should that be day? Well, it's a wet morning here along Ram Kam Heng Road. I'm opposite to where we left off last night, next to Ram Kam Heng 34 station. It's been raining on and off all morning. If it gets any worse, we may have to call it a day a little bit early. But I thought the least we could do today is get to the next station, which is Lam Sally Intersection, because that is a main interchange with the MRT Yellow Line, also under construction. I think long before I first came here, 
just over 20 years ago, Ram Kamhaeng Road was always known as a bit messy and chaotic with cracked pavements, shop houses crumbling, urban decay, crowds of people, pollution, heavy traffic. But in the last five years, you've got these combos popping up and of course the Orange Line being built. Is the place gonna get gentrified? Is it gonna become affluent? I don't think so. You probably will get a few higher earners moving into the more expensive condos, but if you're a city person, you'll always think of this area as being messy, chaotic, but at the same time, a little bit charming. Well, we're into the early evening now, and maybe you're wondering why I've only just got to Land Sally intersection. There was a lot of rain this afternoon, and I had to sit somewhere and wait it out. Anyway, we're here. Land Sally intersection is where the MRT yellow line meets the orange line. Both lines are on a similar kind of time frame, and will probably open within a few months of each other. From tomorrow, we'll be heading up the upper end of Ramcam Herring Road, all the way to Minbury. After Lam Sally intersection, I call it Upper Ram Kampering Road, and the first station along the way, after you've passed the airplane graveyard, is C Buddha Path. Well, you don't have to walk very far before you come to the next station, which is Klong Ban Ma. Named after a local canal, it's where there's a park and ride. I think it's the second one on this part of Ramcam Herring Road. Opposite that is a shopping mall called the Pazio Town. It looks pretty middle class. Why do I say that? Because it's got a branch of Villa Supermarket, Wine Connection, and the dead giveaway, of course, is a branch of Obon Pan. We'll end the day with a few local cats and due to the rainy season once again our shooting time was limited today. It was absolutely chucking it down this afternoon with rain but from tomorrow the line comes above ground so we look forward to that. Well being typically British I'm going to talk about the weather straight away today. I was dreading it lying in bed this morning. There was thunder and rain until about seven o'clock but it's cleared up and it's a really pleasant day to be strolling along Ram Kamhaeng Road and we're going to see the point where the orange line rises from the depths underneath Ram Kamhaeng Road and our first elevated station which is Samarkon and you're also going to get a glimpse of the very futuristic design as well. This is quite exciting for me. This is the first elevated station on the line, OR23 Samacon, and it's also the closest I've come to seeing the details of these space age stations. And there's obviously a lot of plans for the land around the station. There's some kind of retail structure, concourse being built. There's empty land around, which is probably going to be made into retail space, condos, that kind of thing. And I noticed on the map there's actually a canal running under the street up there, so uh, that's a must-see, I'm afraid.
OR24, this is Nom Klaus Station, our last one for today. And tomorrow, we're going to complete the final leg of this orange line all the way to Sawinterwong Station. Another new day, and hopefully this will be the final stretch of the MRT Orange Line that I'm going to follow until we get to the end, the terminal station. Now I admit, this part of Upper Ramkampeng Road between these stations, it's pretty unexciting. There's not much to see, but in 10 years time, this will be a different place. Just look at the BTS light green line as it snakes its way along to Samut Prakan. There's a lot of development starting to come up because of that line. And once the orange line opens, it's gonna be the same. Well, that's another canal I can tick off my list, the Klong Law Lay. And on the left here is what I think could be rice paddies. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not that horticulturally aware. And our next station, just up the road here, is OR25. This is Rat Patana. Seeing the orange line reminds me of the old days along Sukhumvit Road and the BTS Skytrain when it was all brand new. And it started to go a little bit grey from the mid 2000s onwards. And if you compare photographs, it got to the colour it is now, probably around 2010. I suppose they could give it a jet wash, bring it back to new. That'd be nice. I'm starting to think exactly what you're thinking, and that is these stations are starting to look very much alike. That is OR26, Wat Bang Peng Station. And just down the road, alongside the Klong San Sep Canal, you've got Wat Bang Peng Temple. There's actually two of them, one on either side of the canal. And that is also where Kwai Riem Floating Market is. So if you want to visit a floating market that I think is a lot better than certain tourist oriented floating markets, get yourself up the Klong San Seb. The electric boats are free from Bangkapi. We're now up to Ramkamhaeng Soy 201 and this is Keha Ramkamhaeng Station, OR27 and we are getting towards rush hour so there's a lot more traffic on the roads. That's why I thought a bike would be the best way from Wat Bang Peng to here and it will probably be the best way from here to the next station which is Minbury.
that is Minbury Station, OR28. Just behind me, you can see where the MRT Pink Line monorail crosses the Orange Line into its own Minbury Station, which is the terminus of the Pink Line. If you want a more detailed look around the Minbury area, I did a video a few months ago, and I'll leave a link for that in the description. Now, I think we've got just enough light left to get to the final station on the Orange Line, which is about 500 meters in that direction. Well, the light's fading. It's after 6 p.m. and we're just approaching the final station on the MRT Orange Line. This is OR29, Sawintawong, and I'm really glad that I've made it here. It's been five or six days of making my way along Ramkamheng Road. I was gonna go to the very end of the actual tracks, but I did that a few months ago and the light's fading anyway. Here are some pictures of when I did that back in, I think it was February. Well, Johnny Cash once said, I walk the line, but I dispute that because I've gone one better. I've walked the orange line. So until he's done that, then I'm the man as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this walk along the orange line. It's taken me about six days and three weeks, but we finally got there. Anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like, share and comment. If you would like to support the channel, I'd be very grateful. There is a buy me a coffee link on the screen or in the description, there's also links to Ko-fi and PayPal. That just leaves me to say, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.